Let's bring them in early. Let's bring them in often. This is the Brilliantly Dumb Show. I, I ask you the question. I don't ask it to you, Mikey V. I don't ask it to you, Joey D. Where would you, the folks, rather be than right here with us? Tuesday morning, maybe it's a Wednesday morning, maybe it's a Friday morning, right here on the Brilliant Dumb Show. Bear down, I love you, but what the fuck are you wearing? A hat? The hat looks great. It's not the hat that we're worried about. It's the shirt. It's, it's a, it, this is, this is a, looks like a mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> That's real fucking funny, Joe. Real funny. It's got the name Columbia. tag right there. This is a Columbia. Have you ever Michael. heard? Michael. Mike. Mike, Mike, it ain't you, dude. It, it ain't no, Mike. It ain't you. I'm being honest. This is a great, bro. This is these shirts. These are these are like fishing shirts. Hey, They're cutsy. unbelievable. It looks like he's going to excited. he's gonna, he's going to try and catch Jaws. <laughs> uh, hey, if you just finished this, you just finished the ship to Jiffy Lube. <laughs> this is the this is a this is a really premium and there's gonna be people listening to this who who have columbia shirts and they're gonna shit all over you in the comments and i can't wait for it and i'm gonna fucking screenshot everyone and send them in the group chat because this is outrageous way to start i'm being attacked left and right by the way i just found out you guys are in scotland until the 26th yeah it's the long that's, haul i gotta tell you that's terrible that's awful that's why awful. no way because, I mean, there's no way you could tell me right now. There's no way you could tell me that you don't miss America. There's no way. There's no we're getting, way. We're no way you can tell me with an honest face. I no got, way. I got something to say. I, I, I'll I'll be honest. I Look, it's a blessing, and it really is. It's cool that we're – I really do enjoy – I'm not saying that. No, I'm not but, saying no, no, I know. Me either, because I, I want to clear myself too. But th- there is there is nothing like America, man. I, I mean, it's true. There's nothing like the, well, the United Italy's States. Italy's really of, nice. Italy was great. Italy was great. Well, that's my thing too. Is like you know, you're. It's not like you're in one of these places with the finest of cuisines. No, food oh. stinks. It does. <laughs> there and there you have it. And you guys love food, so that's got to be tough. We yeah, do, Bob's we, Bob's been upset. Do you um? I I went to get a. Uh, we were walking to go check out the old course, and I wanted to get one of those kebabs. Uh. But the, I thought the kebab was the thing on the skewer. Skewer. And That's a the, shish kebab. Bob. On the skewer. It was, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. This thing was absolutely disgusting. Some of the, they do another thing called um, uh, blood. What is it? Blood. Uh, what's the black it's blood? Bla- it's called black pudding. And it's 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 it's, it's from blood, blood sausage. Yeah. And it's, another it's, thing. Uh, did you guys eat any? Do you have any haggis? Yeah, I, I thought it, it stunk. Yet. I, I haven't I, tried it yet. And, it's and like the, sheep intestine or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's not for me. You know what Joe mentioned that I thought was true is um the service I've noticed. I don't want to just bag Scotland because there are some good spots to it. The service is terrible. <laughs> different mentality out there. You know, these people, they don't think that you got somewhere to go. It's different. It's just different. It's is di- that what it is? It's just different. But I felt like the service in Italy was pretty good. And that's well, surprising because, you know, Italy and Spain and places like that, you know, they're notorious for, you know, they take their, you know, midday breaks, long breaks. They, you know, there's a lot of downtime. People aren't moving at the same pace that we're accustomed to here. But that's also in part our fault also because everything in America is, you know. Like is that this. what it is? So it's just fa- I will say I just love diving into I love being lost. And that tends to be the case a lot. But especially when I'm out here, I'm just so lost, you know. Like I went to get a um a hot shave just now, and I totally forgot that it's a different currency. I couldn't fathom the fact that they don't take American dollars. I had to go to a bank down the road. It it's just um Bob is like a lost puppy dog out here, man. Uh, You gotta watch him. Is Cutsy watch is Cutsy the guide pretty much? Does he consider himself to be the guide? Uh, yeah, especially when it when it comes to food, everybody kind of latches on to to what he's gonna do. He found an Indian spot in Scotland that I, you wouldn't believe. I mean, this place was un- it was the best meal we've had by far. Um, so yeah, I think from an international standpoint, he he definitely does. You you latch on. Well, I, I I'm well traveled. And um, here we go. Here we go. Here it comes. Well, no, I mean, I'm here just it call a spade a spade, Bob. I'm not trying to brag. I've traveled a lot more than you both. And and it's not it's not well Mikey flex. Mikey V goes to Staten Island a lot. So yeah, I do. I never, I never I never made it to the Jersey Shore, apparently, but, <laughs> but my point or to Jiffy Lou, but that's neither here nor there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. My point is what I'm saying is that like from an international standpoint, I've traveled a lot 
And so like I, I can kind of get around. I'm OK with doing that. When we went to Europe last year, Bob was lost. I had to, I was like a concierge. I was booking every flight, every train, every hotel. I, I had everything mapped out for us, like to the point where like, I don't know. I almost think if you just strapped a GoPro on Bob and dropped him in the middle of Europe somewhere, it would be reality TV gold just to watch how he would navigate yeah. his every day and how he would operate, especially if people are speaking a different language. Like he, it, it is fascinating to watch this young man, like try to process things that are outside of his wheelhouse. You know what I did? To, I did today. I, this, <laughs> this, this was so bad. I was in the gym today. Okay, I went into it's like a university gym. I just typed in something close. I just needed a treadmill. I just wanted yeah. a treadmill. So yeah. I went in and I asked when I checked in, I asked the lady if she could help show me how to work the treadmill. It's the same treadmill that I use back home. I didn't know if they would do it in like different um like, like the, the metric incline. system. Yeah, yeah. So I asked if she could help me. And she looked at me kind of weird. And then she went and she showed it's the same treadmill mm -hmm. that I use. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but yeah. um, there's yeah. some differences that are that are that are actually, you know, uh, difficult, not difficult, but like weird to get adjusted to. Like they drive on the wrong side of the road here. So yeah, like the steering wheel, Mikey, is on the right hand side of the car. Yeah. That's a so like stuff like that is 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 definitely not like stuff that you get accustomed to. But like Bob is just lost. He went to go get a meal today, walked yeah, out with the box and no fork. And it was like shawarma. It was not something like you eat with your hands. Right. And I was like, are you going to get a fork? And he's like, oh, damn. He's just like. Um, yeah, but that's not really an overseas thing. That's just me being an idiot. That That's. Yeah, that's just, I guess get, you just said it yourself. You know what I mean? It's just like, just, <laughs> I mean, just like. Guys just, taking no prisoners today. Bobby. Just get a fork. No, no. He's out. Yeah, no. He's out for blood. Not for blood. And that's fine. I just didn't think it was going to be that kind of podcast. But that's fine. But yeah. Fine. I mean, look. We're, we're always ready, Mikey V. Are we not? Yeah. We are. I I got to pivot and ask a question that sure. was a topic of debate. Um, I had several people over the house last weekend. And this became a very heated debate. And I wanted to ask you two guys, when you take a shit. Now, yeah. there's a big pivot. When you take a shit, do you wipe while you're, when you're done, do you wipe as you, as seated or standing? Seated. Standing is psychotic. I think really? seated, I think seated is, is psychotic. I'm Me standing. Too, Bob. I'm a stander. You also. stand Yo, up when you wipe. This, this is what happened. This is exactly yeah, what dude, happened. I'm, I'm getting up. You, you seat and you lift your cheek and you go underneath. But Joe, so you look like a dog. Why would you why would you stand? Because Joe, you're you you're you're fighting like getting inside the bowl and no, you lift your in. leg. It's easy. No, dude, you stand up. You got so much more room to work with. You you, I, I think it's crazy. <laughs> so dude. you just <laughs> this created yeah. this created a that like, is bizarre. Conversation. It divided I'll, I'll, people. I will also I'll, I'll take it one further. Do you scrunch or fold? Well, I use wipes. Use wipes. What oh, yeah. wipes. Child? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You, you, you ever, start? Have, hold have on, you ever hold on. have you ever <laughs> have you ever gone to the wet wipe? Wait, 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 wait. But Mikey, Mikey, you don't start with the wipe though. You finish with the wipe. Oh no, I go wipe the whole way. Are you serious? You just have like dude wipes in your toilet? I no, I don't fl you can't flush them. I have diaper genie for the kids. I just put them in the diaper genie. Wait, so when somebody comes over to your house, they can't use toilet paper because just no, wipes? they can. No, I have toilet paper for the guests, but I'm I like wipes. They they're luxurious. They're really nice. Once you, you go wipe, that you spread on that. your ass cheeks, doesn't that like? No, it cleans it better than it's probably the next closest thing to a bidet. But my my question is, once it's wet, then do you have to take clean the residue with the toilet paper after to dry it? No, because it's not, I mean, it's not like excessively wet. It's just a moist wipe. It's not like, it's like, it's not like I'm saturating I, my the ass. Only, the only thing that concerns me with the wipe <laughs> is those, those, those first two wipes, there's a Whoa. lot going on. And then you I can't really, with, I don't think if you sit for Mikey, the appropriate amount of time until you're done, there is a lot going Mikey, on. Mikey, you're telling not me. Not if your Bob's insides, this guy's got innards yeah. of like. A hundred year old corpse. This guy's rotten from the inside out. I, I tell you what, I've 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 farted a lot. He has. I have we really went, been. We went on a pub crawl, Mikey. I B, didn't okay? fart. I didn't fart there, John. You, you, whoever you, denied it supplied it. it. I'm going to tell you that right now. I didn't. <laughs> but the bar. <laughs> we went through three bars, and two of them we had to leave because the stench was so outrageous. I don't know. Brad and I. 
Can you pin that on him though? You see the the cuisine out there. People Mike, are eating. Well, Mikey, like I'm, I'm telling you right now. I'll that. always tell him they weren't my farts. It was he's funny not a though fart that concealer. Bob's an I, open. He's very transparent with his I, with farts. You'll see me laughing. I find farts to be the funniest thing. Even yeah. if I laugh, if I laugh, it was his brew. I get at least I get it. I get at least one voice note fart from Bob a month. At least one. Yeah, where it's the voice it. note of a fart. There, he, there you... on this trip, has taken two shits that have been so bad, he had to turn the shower on because he had to wash the smell away. And then he opens the door, and it's like the Tropic of Capricorn in there. Yeah. It's like a humidity wave just blew in the fucking in the, in the hotel room. And then it's just like lingering, this smell of shit everywhere. And, I, and... He was always a transparent farter. Yeah, and by the, way, by the way, Joe, your, your farts smell terrific. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, college boys, Football is here, and it is better than ever. It is back. Make sure you do it the right way by downloading the DraftKings app. New customers who download the app now use promo code DUMB. Yes, that's going to be promo code DUMB and can get $200 in bonus bets instantly when they bet just $5 on any college football bet. But again, that's going to be promo code DUMB, D-U-M-B. Take it from me. You want to do college football the right way. No, I have loud farts, but they don't smell really bad. Yeah, well, maybe other parts smell. I gotta yeah, be I'm honest. Sure. That's, tough. That's tough to believe, Joe. No, yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll be I'll be honest, is... straight up. Like I am a it, big it's, time it's, noise it's arrogance guy. to think that your farts don't smell. It, it's you shit it's don't stink. Arrogance. Shit don't stink. Yeah, that's exactly it. It's, it's I arrogance. would say it's what I it would is. say legitimately maybe two out of every ten farts that I that I pr produce that, are actually no, like crazy. have a stench. <laughs> that is I let let's test that. Let's he's like he's like the ask Pete anybody. Rose. He's like the I, Pete Rose of farting. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever hear the words? <laughs> Have you ever heard the term SBD, silent but deadly? That yes, is Bob. Joe, yes, we've heard That's it. Bob. That's my Bob. Farts, my farts are like loud, musical, like, musical. like it's like a trombone. Musical. Like it's, you, it's like a lot. Would you, would you get over yourself, man? Would you get over yourself? I'm not bragging that I have loud to, farts. To, to a sympathy, sympathy? I mean, what Symphony, the Symphony, Bob, you idiot. I mean, it's just like, <laughs> you've heard of You've heard of Mozart. This is Mozart's fart. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's Joe's fart. <laughs> Joe, Joe. Well, number one, I'll say this. Bob, Bob, when Bob sends the voice note of the fart, and then me and Perez have to answer. When Perez, when Perez answers number one, oh. there's really nobody who could compete with the with the noise level that he produces. I try, and Bob will let out like a mouse squeaker, and it's so pathetic in comparison to yeah, like yeah, it is. Something. It's uh, like one of those. Like that. For little... you to say, Joe, that that only two out of ten farts are gonna smell. Right. That's, that's maybe, hard. maybe, maybe but, I'm but you, at like a thirty. You got to be batting at least. You got to be batting at least four hundred. Like Ted for Williams. Sure. I would for think sure. you're a Ted Williams guy. I'd say maybe three out of ten stink. They don't stink. They're just loud. Okay. Okay. Right, I'm not enough. saying that. I'm not saying I'm perfect. You know, I have a lot of farts, but my farts stink and like. Like Bob's, it, it's it just that's not it's very rare, and when it does happen, it's like I'm I'm actually surprised. When you're in a foreign country though, and you're on a pub crawl, there I would imagine there had it's to be fun. a bunch of other By the people. way, it's 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 funnier. I mean, like the farts in the foreign country, I just think are funnier, man. I really do. I think, and I'll never crawl. I'll never deny a fart. Bob knows immediately when I fart. I I, I kind of like giggle to myself. Like there's no denying. I, I do too. I'm telling you right now. I I would not deny it. I think it's funny. I think it's one of the funniest things that there's been. Yeah, you know, we all, Mikey, we're, we're walking back the other day. Okay, not from this bar crawl. I forget. We're, we're walking back the other day. There is a clear red light on the crossing street. It is as clear as day that we cannot cross. It's not there for us to cross. Mm -hmm. Joe decides to go right into the middle of the crossway and start crossing. Lady comes and drives right by him and honks at him. And he couldn't believe that this lady was honking at him. It was exactly. so clear that it was not our time to cross. And he was pissed at this girl and looked at us as if, could you believe? I had a witness for, who said that thinking, the lady sped up as I was crossing to like almost hit me. So she was hammered. Up. She, she had was it out hammered. It was, I don't care. It's a witness. So if, if the lady hit me, I have a lady who can process and state 
clearly that this woman sped up. Some people will like honk. Some people try to prove a point. This woman wanted to get as close to me as possible and then lay on the horn and listen, okay, I was in the wrong. That's fine. But you don't have to speed up and almost kill me. But that's like, the first that time we've, we've heard. But that's that's the first time that we've heard you say that you're in the wrong. Because the whole I way through. But I said the woman was was outrageously out of her mind to speed up and to like uh, while she's approaching and sees me crossing to speed up is one of the more insane psychotic things I've ever seen. Two wrongs don't make a right. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Mikey V. Um, absolutely right. You couldn't pay me to drive in this country. It, it's it is. <laughs> there is a lot. There is a lot going. I mean, even sitting in the front. It, it is it is a war zone, man. But you know what, though, Mikey said it, and it's been a lot of fun. There, There's just nothing. There's nothing like America. Even when you're overseas, you know, you enjoy it. By the time you're ready to come home, I loved Italy. By the time it's at the end of it, you're ready to get home. Yes, yes. You know I mean, I, mean? I think that's any vacation, but especially when you're abroad like that and you have, you know, farts abroad like you guys have. You like it, at one I'll point. Miss those. I did not think that it was this long of a trip. I thought it was only a week. I thought you or guys were coming home tomorrow. Because when you said we can't record tomorrow, I thought that you were, I thought that was a travel day. I thought you were leaving. And then Ticket said that you guys were there to the 26th. And I said, what? I go, that's that's a long time. That's a you, long time. You know time what to I be think it, it, it might be too? Um, I also think too, it's the time change. It's being on such a different wavelength than yeah. what's going on in Staten Island right now. What was it seven o'clock there? Six. It's six o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're we're five, five hours ahead five hours of you. Ahead. Okay. And then we're we're eight hours ahead of, of LA. LA time. Yeah. 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 That's you, yeah, that's that's a time that's a warp for you guys. You know what yeah, was a, is. was a wild episode and it was the, the Venicini episode was when me and Joe were in Italy was when the Venicini episode came. So it makes it even funnier that that came in during during italy but even that i mean i think we did that at two in the morning i and maybe it's a good thing i don't know when the yankees start i don't know when to expect first pitch half hour, I am, half hour. hey I, you know what bob you ain't missing much in a row. they've lost no. seven games in a row they're you ain't just, missing much bob they're just, they're just, so bad they really are it's, it's crazy to be honest i don't uh, even want to go into it thank god you guys aren't um uh, i mean if the football see if football season was going on now that would be real tough because then you'd be getting You'd be getting six o'clock kickoffs for the one o'clocks, and then forget it. You wouldn't even be able to watch the night game. The late that's afternoon. What, that's what Joe used to have to do. I can't. I can't fathom I that. I actually kind of liked it. You know, I was Sunday, and I would be able to like I was a student, so I could do all my homework, go do whatever I needed, and then the kickoff was at seven p.m. for the for the ten o'clock games, and then oh, you have God. football all night. Now, where you get banged oh, right, right. is the Sunday nighter would start at like two a.m. That's yeah. where you get banged. That's tough. Yeah, that's that, a tough seat. With us coming over to the East Coast, that's something that I I I won't miss. I think I might end up maybe enjoying going back to the one o'clock starts, but the Sunday night football games or that that the, the wait to eight eight thirty that I don't miss one bit. See, I, eight o'clock to me is fine. When they had, I remember when Monday night football they did it at nine o'clock for a while, I believe, and that was that's too crazy nine o'clock. But eight o'clock is not bad, I don't think. You could still be in bed by like eleven. That's reasonable. No, but you can't. But you can't be in bed at eleven though. There, there's Bob's no way. Bed at nine forty-five. There's there's no way on a that. on a on a Sunday on a Sunday Monday night that you're in bed by by eleven o'clock. Because with all the commercials and everything, and then you're all wound up. Lord knows you're betting it every which way. You're all wound up, regardless <laughs> of the outcome, <laughs> to where you're really not in bed by eleven. It depends. I think if it's a shit game, it, it it it's all it all depends. Like obviously, if the Bears are playing, yeah, that's that's a different story. If uh, if you're betting the game, but if it's like a shit game, I don't know. Sometimes, but I don't think eight o'clock is that bad. That's all I'm saying. Nine yeah. o'clock is preposterous, but eight o'clock is the, the wait. Nine o'clock is a lot. Um, okay, fellas, I think it's time. Let's go into our buyer cell. Let's see what we got cooking for the buyer cell. Joey D, why don't you start us off? Um, all right, I kind of touched on this in in we were just filming for Bob to Sports episode, and and I, I have to sell this. I and you know what? I don't understand why everybody just gives these gives gives a pass when the when it's so blatantly bad. I am selling airline food. I'm selling it and I'm selling it hard. There is and I made the I made the claim that I'm not going on these planes with the expectations 
of like, I'm not having, you know, illusions of grandeur, like filet mignon and stuff like this, but by the love of God, you know, you could give us a little, I, I mentioned to Bob, it, you know, those little charcuterie snacks with the little things of meat and cheese or crackers or some, I don't know, something, but what they're giving out on these planes now is such garbage. I, it is rare that I will that get coach, a meal. Is that a, co is that a coach meal? It was a, yeah, it was coach. Yeah, meal. Coach meal. But problem. even, I will even say, I, I, I've flown business and the business meals aren't anything to, to sniff at either. A lot they're better really than aren't. coach, Joe. I've had I, well, they're, well, they're a lot better, but I've this coach, years. what we had in this coach, it was like dog food. I'm telling you, dude, I was better off not eating. And for me to have a meal in front of me and to not basically touch it is, it is an anomaly. That don't happen. Well, let me it ask don't happen, and we've been letting these people off the hook for so long. You pay a fortune for these fucking flights. You pay a fortune, and and the service. And I'm not saying anything against the people who work there because I think that they're great. I'm saying though that like the plane that we flew in, Mikey V, the bus boy the, took forever to come by. Yeah, I mean, there was not service. a bus boy in sight. I mean, the waiter didn't bring the wine in a good it's time. It's we a cart down in Ottawa. I'm you. not. You haven't let me finish. I'm <laughs> selling the. Fine, fine, I'm selling I have a, the, question, I have a follow up question. I'm selling the food, not the uh, what are they called? The people who who the work attendants, on the flight attendants. I'm not flighting. I'm not selling the flight attendants. I love the flight attendants. I'm saying that we flew on a plane with United to Europe that that plane sh shouldn't have been flying from Minnesota to Detroit. It was one of the that. worst. And, and it's like the inflation of, 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 of these airlines and the cost to fly has gone up exponentially. And I understand fuels expensive. I get all that, but it's like, we are paying more now than we've ever paid to fly. And the planes are getting shittier. The food has never been worse. I don't understand like how hard it is just to provide a little bit of an elevated, uh, you know, if don't serve me a meal at all, rather than serve me dog shit. Yeah, I, 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 I can't wait to fly to Chicago. I'll be honest. I well, yeah, wait. you got first class. You're gonna be in the fucking. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's why I can't. That. That's yeah, why I can't. Wait. Wait. Be in caviar and, by the time the plane takes and, off. And and O'Hare is a United hub. And when you fly into a hub, it's always better if you pick that airport because yeah. it's always good. Yeah. Always good. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? And You're I right learned that, that. I learned that from Holly V because Holly V used to travel all the time. My wife used to travel every weekend for work when she was in pharma sales. She used to travel. And she, you want to talk about well traveled, Joe? Speak to my wife. She's gone to almost every state in the country. She used to fly all over the place. But my question for Joe was: You guys are now veterans of the flight game. If you're concerned yeah. about the meals, why do you not stop in one of those little mom and pop little shops and pick up like a I did that. sandwich or something. I, I did I that. I did, but I, I always will from time to time, but they, uh, what that's I was better, seeing, that what I was be a better option, Joe, because you I would like to eat it normally in the airport um, beforehand. And, you know, I finally started using that, that American express uh, for the business lounge though. That's great. So I'll mm -hmm. normally use that, but like, I will <laughs> say that, the options that we had going, Bob, am I wrong? The options that we had when we were in D.C., that, that airport oh, they didn't, they didn't have good stores. They didn't oh, have good it was terrible. Yeah. It's one of that the worst airport, airports. That, that Dulles, Dulles, it's like, it's like they took a dog turd and they tried to make it look fancy. And it, it ain't good. It's I'll terrible. Tell you, I'll tell you the best airport in the game, food-wise, and you're right about the hubs, Charlotte Airport. Is the number yeah, you one the Charlotte the best? I mean, there was every you got Chick Fil A, you got Jersey Mike's, you got Bojangles, I like I Dallas, had, Texas, Fort Worth. I had one. Dallas ain't bad at all. I had one of the best slices of pizza in an airport I've ever had in the Charlotte airport. Um, I got a big announcement that I that I want to get into after the buyer sell. Joe Joey D is selling um airplane food now. I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of people buying airplane food, but I will say the airplane food that we did have. Um, was awesome. it was tough, but thankfully Mikey V is flying to Chicago first class. So there's no worries there. Mikey, you could be six foot seven. You could be seven feet tall. Our guy's going to be living, uh, real, real nice. He's going to be, yeah, totally nice. you know what Joe does? And I said it on the other pod and it's the most classic Joey D thing of all time. He's maybe the only guy still doing it when he needs the flight attendant. He doesn't wait till they come around. He still uses the button the up yeah. top yeah. and then yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It is there for it's a reason. For a reason. Yeah. But, but nobody here in 2023 is using that anytime. So when I saw him go to use that bell, I thought that was one of the most on-brand things I have, I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and by the way, 
The only time he saw me use it was to actually, I, I, I enhanced everybody's experience because Jet missed the flight coming back from Tahoe and they didn't know who the missing passenger was. And I pieced together that it was Jet. So I put the bell on because it was good. We were going to have to wait for an hour because there was a power outage in the airport before we boarded the plane and they were going to have to manually go through all the tickets to find out who the missing passenger was. I put the thing on the plane and I gave the name and it saved everybody about an hour wait before we took off. So just put it in context sometimes, Bob. I ain't just doing that like trying to like annoy the woman asking for random shit. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Burnley Lum Show to let you know that the Burnley Lum Show is brought to you by the fine folks over at Athletic Greens. I use Athletic Greens every single day morning it gives me better gut health more energy an optimized immune system and you just cannot go wrong it's a terrific way for me to start my day athletic green supports better sleep quality and recover supports mental clarity and alertness you cannot go wrong it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition especially heading into flu and cold season. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every single day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. Just one scoop into some water and you're good to go. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash dumb to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Get Athletic Greens today. You're a little sassy today, Joe. Very sassy. You really are. You're, you're very. It's unnecessary sass today. It's 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 uh it's rude. And this is a nice friend. shirt, by the way. This yeah, is a nice it, yeah. Um, All right, let's nice keep it. Here, no, there. Let's let's Columbia, keep it. Joe. Columbia, yeah, man. Look it up. Look up Columbia. I had a Columbia jacket. Then what's the problem? No, well, I, I, I actually, as, as rude as I think that he has been, I, I think that does look. I think this shirt is getting. I think this shirt really. It's, 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 it's long. Shirt, it's bag. I mean, it, dude, it's baggy. It's you, yeah, you it ain't you. Put on the material, bro. But Mikey, second, but Mikey, second, we, second, you got to trust us that if, if we're telling you it, it just ain't you. There's so much that we'll say when you come on. I say, man, you look. Listen to me. Listen to me. You guys are on one wavelength over here in the North Pole. And I'm in the South Pole. I'm in survival dad mode. I need oh, pockets. No, I'm don't do that, shirts. man. Don't I need bring dad shirts. card. I'm in. not it, worried it about wearing time. mint green t-shirts. I'm not worried about. Uh, it, don't it's, do that. Don't, about. don't do that. Don't play the dad card because the dad card's going to win play, every I'm, time. I'm being real. I'm but we can't through. play that card. Okay. Joey D's got his hand up. I just wanted to say that if I if I had the physique of Mikey V, I'd never wear a baggy shirt for the rest of my life. That's also something really, to consider. It's really See, he's lightening up now. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate that, though. Yeah, I mean that's a compliment. Can I go? Can I buy or sell now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but don't don't. I, we got a big announcement. I thought you said that was after buy or sell. No, it is. I'm just saying, don't take my big announcement. I don't even know. Okay, no problem. I'm uh, I'm gonna. So here's my thing. I I don't know if I want to sell one end or buy the other, but here's what I'm gonna buy. I'm going to buy this week. I'm going to buy going in person versus the drive through When you go yes. to a fast food place, I'm going to buy the in-person purchase over the drive through purchase. There's two reasons for this. The drive throughs are out of control. It used mm-hmm. to be you could find a sweet spot time where, you know, not a lot of people are in the drive through lane. That, that that time is gone. I feel like it doesn't exist anymore. I feel the drive throughs are just packed all the time now because nobody wants to just park the car and get out. There's never a line inside. Yeah, you're never right. A line. You park the car, you go in. Number one, they see your face. So they're not going to fuck with your food normally because now they, there's a face-to-face connection. You're not going through a speaker. I feel I like agree the that. Is better protected. And number two, it's just faster. Just get out of the fucking car, park the car. He's now, listen, if you got if you got little kids, if the, it's if it's adverse weather conditions, okay, I could understand that. But under normal circumstances, just park the car and walk inside the fucking. You're not place. wrong. Service is better. It's better. It's a better overall experience, my opinion. There you have know, been times um, I went in a in a. Go, go ahead, ahead Bob. No, there, there there's a place that a place that has no business having a drive through, like at least Wendy's and all these places have business. Place that, that do a drive through, Starbucks does the drive through. They yeah, have no, no. drive through. 
Yep. They actually have a great drive through. No, there it it, <laughs> it it gets so it gets so backed up there. They take. Oh from- no, it does get backed up, but the drive through process oh. is actually. You know good. why it gets backed up at Starbucks? Because you, nobody just orders. Let me get a large coffee, cream, and sugar. Everyone's ordering a frappa mocha, joker, polka, chocachino yeah. with 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 reduced fat latte cream and non gluten free, uh, you know, organic soy milk. Like that's the problem. You can't have orders like that in a drive-through. It's it's no. it's too much. It's too much. How could you even know what the people are ordering over that speaker? I'm I'm buying hard, Bob. The in-person purchase of at the drive-through place. There have right? been times I was I looked at the drive-through and it was back like five six cars. Yeah, at least. And what'd you do? You parked. You walked in. You got and there's like seconds. one person in line inside. That's it. That's it. It's a life hack. And now I'm gonna get I fucked. Know. Now people are gonna go in person, and now that's gonna be a problem. The only well, maybe um, it'll loosen up the drive through. I, I don't want nothing to do with the drive through. By the anymore. way, by think. the way, I hate to tell you, Mikey V, this ain't the Joe Rogan experience. There's not going to be that many people now going <laughs> into where <laughs> it, it affects you know what, it's comments, you it's about comments, it's comments. people you know what? nationwide Let me just say this. that you got to worry is comment, about. It. It is mean, com- the voice of the voiceless are the pretty one big. McDonald's and Nutley's really I mean, let's suffer. not act like that. With all <laughs> McDonald's, you know what? Everybody our listening is on the Brilliant really Dumb Show. Okay. We've, okay. I mean, let's let's we should let's start selling stocks on this podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone, everyone listening to this podcast i'm out on microsoft i am out on microsoft (laughs) everyone listening listening or watching this podcast right now i want you to (laughs) what a ludicrous statement (laughs) sorry that's a ludicrous you got it you got it you got it you got it Everyone rewind this podcast 30 <laughs> seconds. And what you just heard from Bob is a <laughs> problem that we have. Okay. That type of mentality is not the mentality we <laughs> need to move forward. We need to take a more, uh, we need to, we need to take better ownership of this. And we really need to feel <laughs> like we belong there. We need to <laughs> act like we were there, Bob. We well, did. the last podcast, we were in the top hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not enough to yeah. change McDonald's drive through. <laughs> you don't know that. Okay? You don't know that. You don't know that. You don't know that. Maniscalco isn't changing McDonald's drive through. Tell you what, I saw, and don't I turn buy- this on me because what you said was a crazy, crazy statement that <laughs> that is going to affect. Now I love the passion and I love the drive, but I just think we need to realize we're not going to affect nationwide McDonald's yet on <laughs> worldwide. Bob, Bob, listen, listen to me. I, Wait, I, but with I that have... being said, like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead, Mike. <laughs> I, I happened, so I happened, I happened to see the Sony stock this week, and Sony stock was down. <laughs> all right, so that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Was it a coincidence? I don't know. Was it a coincidence? I don't know. You're so. What are we doing here? This guy is so. You, you know, just... you're really something, man. You really are. I, I tell you, you know what it is? It, it gets annoying when I feel like I would live and die for this podcast. And don't then we, you we get comments dare, like that. Don't, like, oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Don't. Yeah, Mike, yeah, yeah. Doing this he podcast. does promote it a lot, Bob. Yeah, thank you, Joe. But Mikey, thank you, Joe. But Mikey, you. come on. Don't go there with it. I was doing the podcast off a of coat hanger for a year. Okay? <laughs> I mean, you come on. You know what he used to do? Look where you've gotten to, Bob. He used to, get me, he used to give me an edible so I'd get high and give him ideas because and he didn't know what fine. to do. that's fine. Partially true. Partially true. Yeah, but in the words, in the words, words of James Cagney, look at me now, Mom, on top of the world. That's how you, you should feel. We still have a long way to go, though. That's, that's what I'm saying. Do, but I'm saying, look Mikey, at where, how far you've I come, would, though. I would love nothing more than to us be able to say, you know what? I'm selling the quarter pounder. And then a lot of people stop buying the quarter pounder. I would love to be that. And by the way, I think we're on our way. So let me ask you this. You don't think the sale of egg rolls and mustard went up a little bit. It spiked a little bit after some of the takes we had last year. Joe, what do you think? Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. I wasn't going that low with it. I mean, he took it. He took it a little bit lower. I wasn't going that well. Hey, no, I don't care. Okay, okay, I should. I. I don't mean that nobody. Uh, the people who listen to this podcast care, but that's a fraction. I mean, we. 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 You know, America has got how many millions of people? We're. We're. We're not. We're not changing. You know, America. We are. We are. That's the. We need to take a different look at it. We need to say. I mean, I mean the people who listen are being impacted. But yeah, we need to be brought. I mean, we we got I, a long way I to go. I think we are part of a positive movement and change totally. the likes of which no one has seen. I believe that. I believe I, it. I think we. I think we're. Yeah, That's why we, we love you. That's why think, we need you. Totally. That's why you're here every single week. 
that I think we're influencing a lot of people, and I think our audience is is very loyal. I, Mike, you I know, we're like the most loyal. I we have them. I I swear to God, our audience is more loyal than anyone else. I audience. agree. But for, but for anything you need, you need you need a few different types of people. You need a visionary, which you are. You know, with with aspirations, dreams. Then you need like someone who's a a, a, a people person who can make things happen. And I would say that's Bob. And then you need somebody who just kind of rounds out everything, and that would be me. So I yeah. think together, all three of us, you know, like that that's the winning form. And then I was so free, I was so a little, little Benjamin and a little ticket and, and yeah. then of course you got Perez, who's an expert yeah. in his field. But you're our visionary. Is, you're know, you're but... the guy who has the, 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 the hopes and dreams and the visions of this thing catapulting. And you know, we're getting there. Oh, I but, believe you know, it. Yeah. I believe it. I won't stop. I won't you stop. Know what? I'll, die I'll die first. This has turned into a positive. Oh yeah. This oh, yeah. is turning into a positive. Yeah. I'm glad we I'm glad we did it. I'm glad what we did it. What other stocks you got your eye on, Mikey? <laughs> well, you no, know, um uh, your turn, Bob. It's your turn. Okay. Your turn. Um I am going to to buy Joe, you might have seen this coming, but but uh, a beverage that I, know I never do you want to do it on three? It's a no-brainer. One, it's a beverage? It's a beverage. Yeah. I never thought I would like it. I Mikey, you won't this. see this. Is coming it a type either. is it a type of beverage or is it a brand? It's an alcoholic? It's and a drink. It's a- yeah, it's a beer. It's a beer. Oh, it's a type of beer. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm buying. We, me and Joe don't even have to do it on three. I think he would it's know. Guinness. Yeah, man. Oh, I thought fantastic. It is so. You know what it is? I'm fascinated by the poor. Poor like anything. It really <laughs> is. And what they do is they go three fourths of the way, and then they hold off, and then they'll go and yes. attend somebody yes. else. But that's but but but. Here's the danger with Guinness. If you go to a place and they don't know how to pour it, they yeah. will, they will butcher it and you will but not. But here, everybody knows how to pour it. Well, I was just about to say you're spoiled because look at where you are now. That's the best place ever to start drinking it. And I thought it would be I overwhelmingly, thought like I thought it would be so heavy. It's not nah. at nearly as heavy. There's no carbonation. As There's no it's carbonation. Fi- ah, ah. So, so when I go to, a, when I get a Guinness out here, okay, is it actually better here, or is that more of a mental thing? I, I would believe so. Probably, there's yeah. only there's only one place where in New Jersey where I'll order it off the t- off the tap because it's Irish. If, bar, it better be it better be Luna's, it better be Luna's Wood Fire Tavern. Oh, absolutely, which is deep. absolutely. Is no. that so? Absolutely. <laughs> no. why, don't you, why don't you tell them? Why don't you tell the folks about Luna's Wood Fire Tavern? Who, by the way, is the official sponsor of the Brilliantly Dumb Show, partially because nobody else is. <laughs> we're right back where we started yeah, we're right we changing the world huh we Circle can't even get a sponsor our... for the i tell you what i wouldn't i wouldn't trade i wouldn't trade it for anything though i would yeah no i'm would, special I it's would. near to our it heart is it is you know what i'd be calling him now is bobby gins <laughs> <laughs> he cracks himself up man he, he really no, he I, cracks listen, himself up Listen, there's one, only one place in New Jersey I'll actually order Guinness on the regular because it's the oldest bar in the city. Is it an Irish bar? Yes. Yes. There you go. There it's you go. Bar. It's an Irish bar. It's the oldest bar in the city of Newark. And they know how to pour Guinness. Like they train them on how to do it. There's another place, Shannon Rose, which is like an Irish uh, chain place that's in Any New Irish bar oh, should have heard of Shannon Rose? Guinness. No. Okay. So you probably left Jersey before they built them, but there's a couple Shannon Roses. They know how to do it too because it's an Irish bar. But if you get a bad one, it's it's not a pleasant experience. But where you are, it's probably markedly better. Yes, I would say. Oh, it's so I always good. wondered that. I always did. Like my whole thing that I always go back to is like Whole Foods. Like if you go to Whole Foods and then like a shop, right? Like I think mentally you just think that like the prepackaged stuff is better when really it's not that better. So I always wondered that too um, with the Guinness. But um, big announcement, Joey D, can I get a little bit of a drum roll here, please? Um Long time coming, and and a guy you talk about for the brand who's just going to wheel and deal. Um, it's another step closer. Mikey V joining the Breezy family is absolutely. Let's clap it up there, Joey D. Come on, let's let's go ahead and clap it up. By the way, you look great time. in the hat. You Love do. The hat. You do. By the way, this is this is that uh that surfer hat or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I can't pull that hat off. I can't. Dude, I love he, it. But this hat is the lightest. Like it's just the most comfortable hat to wear, though. It's like it's Perez just, wears that all the time. That I hat. know, and I have that one too. They say they must have sent me like 30 hats. It was outrageous. Like, That's nice. It, it was really nice. All the people tremendous. Like I said in my video, like I um this meant a lot to me. Uh 
obviously being able to to work more closely with you guys is like something that I've wanted to do. Being able to go to the events, being able to go to all the breezies now, being able to do all that stuff is like, that's like, that's like awesome for me, you know, because it is tough for me still with the kids and the full-time job to do all the stuff that you guys are doing on the filming end, you know, with the Bob does sports stuff, but to be able to be more involved and to be able to put my passion and my energy into this together now. And we really feel like, I really feel like now we're really, almost all the way there together yeah. is just, you know, it's an indescribable thing. And I really truly mean that. And it's no knock on who I've worked with in the past at all, who've been great. Um, not at all. It's just that this was a no brainer for me because this is my, mm. this is like become another little family for me. So it's, it, it, it's, it just, that wouldn't make sense not to do this. You know what I mean? And that's no knock on anyone else. It's just that you have an opportunity to work with your family and people and to do something you really love to do yeah. all the time it's a no-brainer it's a no-brainer decision for me so i couldn't be happier everyone's been fantastic at breezy uh at doing things all that fantastic so just great just even, happy to, happy to be here yeah even in the contract negotiations you even were saying which is true that mm -hmm. you know something that you can't put a, a number on is us now all being even that much closer together yeah you can. And, you know, bringing it under the same umbrella. So this this is this is a big one. And it, it's just one step even closer to us being even that much closer together. Hopefully one day in a studio in Florida, firing these things out three hours a day. You don't have to oh, worry about, oh, you know, oh. my Zoom, my audio, my my visual, which is like, well, as long as visual, we don't hire uh, Nikki cocktails. to sell Oh, it I didn't the ricochet shot to him. That's tough, right. right. Man. I mean, um, he needs to be a really nice guy. Earl's back. Earl's back. And he's back better than ever. Oh, Every, no. It's like right before we start a trip, I get a pimple. I want Bob, a you know, you could go to the store and get some preventative cream like that Nivea stuff. No, I got pretty good on. stuff. I just stopped doing it for a few days and then it wow, was, there you it, go. Was, it was done. When you stop doing <laughs> something that works, <laughs> uh, you can't something be surprised. About, something about Joe saying preventative cream, really. Just that was yeah. very yeah. funny. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> just, it was very funny. <laughs> 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 I don't know why. <laughs> well, that's what it is. Like some preventative cream on. Well, that's what he should be doing. The, yeah, the, you got yeah. stuff so yeah. that it would help, and then you don't use it, then you get surprised. You know what that is, Bob? Hmm. Stress. You think it's stress? Yeah, absolutely. No, he's got too much oil in his skin. Well, that's... maybe from maybe <laughs> maybe from maybe possibly from stress. I I don't really have much to stress about though. You know what this I mean? Guy don't have much to stress about. Yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think it. I mean, regardless, well, you've been stressing about the sponsor for this show for a while. That's yeah, that. yeah. Besides that, I mean, well, <laughs> but, that's um, pretty good in the Bobby Cam. Uh, by the way, another thing, Mikey V, and I, I. I think it might be kind of crazy to insinuate, but I'm going to insinuate it anyway. You right. moved over to a Blackstone grill wise, and that Blackstone was bought no further than a week out after Joey D questioned your grilling <laughs> ability. <where> you <laughs> oh, no, my but, but, but Mikey, you can't. This is a help. pretzel job, but man. Mikey, that is, you are such that's a That's a great a quality grill. And by the way, your vegetables looked really good on that last one. Oh, store. dude, dude that's, those cheesesteaks I made last night were they looked good. Well, were, I think that well, I actually the think thing. the barbecue's elevated his game. Here's the thing. I've wanted the Blackstone. I bought the house a year ago, right? The house was, we had to do all the remodeling inside. And as you know, the yard was this year's project because the yard was basically inhabitable. My father, as a housewarming gift to me, wanted to buy me a Blackstone grill. That was his housewarming gift. He wanted to give it to me when we moved in. And I said, dad, I said, I'm not putting this Blackstone grill out there. I said, the yard's a mess. Like we're just, I'm not ready to do that. Like it takes up a lot more. It takes up more space now. Cause I still have the other grill out there. So we waited until the yard was done. Now it just so happens that the yard just got finished. So that is the reason not Bob's pretzel job. So, and I'm just throwing it. I was asking the question. I was asking, <laughs> the, question. I'm I'm asking. asking the question. But I'm Mikey, answer. with that Blackstone, because what you do do is I love seeing when you get the nice grill marks on the steaks and stuff. Can you yeah. still get, will, will steaks now go down a little bit? Oh, no, I will put thick pieces of steak, like any kind of big piece of steak, I'll still do on the Weber. I'll still put that on the Weber. Oh, so you still have the Weber? Yeah, I still have the Weber, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm not going to get rid of the Weber. It's, you, you know. got a double grill action going on? Yeah, double grill, Joe. Double grill. Good, right in time for football season. 
That's right. Damn, yeah. this guy's ready. We'll be slinging. Listen, we'll be slinging. We could prepare a whole menu when you boys uh, take one of your uh, trips for Two. football football weekend. Two total trips I'm coming. Good. When they're going to be, I don't know. But two total trips. We did find I am, out I am Bears, go... we did find out Bears Packers was the late game. We did find that out. I know. And it's I am gonna go one. to I'm gonna go to New York for the Packers Giants game. Oh, it, you're gonna go to the game, you're saying? Yeah. Okay. When but is that? I don't know if that's that is December twenty third. Oh my god, the day before Christmas Eve? Oh, forget it. Maybe he's going that... solo. That's tough. That's a lot of lobsters, bro. A lot Maybe of lobsters. Going, we bought that. Maybe he's going solo. But is that? Man. But is wait? Is that wait? I thought it. I didn't think it was December twenty third. Okay. Well, let's let we'll take a look. We'll take a look into that. We'll say let's <laughs> let's gather, <laughs> and then let's let's take a look into. Damn, that. I did not realize that. That's not good. Okay. Yeah, it could be a problem. That could be a problem. But you know what, Joe? We'll get it resolved. You'll get it resolved for sure. Um, Here we go. Let's go into our top five. Excited here. about this one, gentlemen. Yeah, I am Excited too. I am yeah. too. Um, I fired in this top five. Um, it, it is going to be top five sandwich toppings. It's going to be top five sandwich toppings. Um, I'm thrilled with what I got. If I could start us off. Go ahead. Very happy. Go ahead. Go ahead, Joseph. I'm, I'm just a little bit worried. I think somebody's going to bang us and just go all meat toppings. No. Oh, I don't think so, Joe. I mean, okay, I, I, I would like to think that I have, I have one. I have one. one. I, I do too. Yeah, I, I just, one. I'm just saying because if somebody just does all meat toppings, that's a bang job. I don't yeah, know how many. Point, meat at what toppings... point is what point is a meat not right? I I don't know how many fun. toppings you could get meat wise. I do have a meat one. Um, no, I right. think it's fine to have meat, but just not all meat. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we no, probably I think we probably all have the same meat topping. My guess. I would think all so right. too. The, the way this conversation is going, I, I would think so too. Um, number five, this one, some a lot of people are against these. Like in the ones that are against are against the hard. I got tomatoes at five. Throw in the tomatoes at five. It, it's in so many of the sandwiches. I, I got no issue with tomatoes. Give me tomatoes at five. Number four, lettuce, because everybody needs crunch. I think lettuce needs it, its way into a lot of sandwiches. So I got lettuce at four. Um, number three, give me peppers. Give me peppers at three. I agree with Joe, Mikey V. Those peppers you had going on the grill, and you got the perfect bun for those cheese steaks too. Yeah. Um, really looks spectacular. Number two, here comes my meat. Um, give me the bacon at two. Yeah, I got the bacon in in the two hole. You really can't go wrong when you put bacon into anything. I can't imagine it would ruin anything. It's only really going to help you. Um, and then number one, I, I I think it's maybe the most common one. It's got to be in there. Give me cheese at one. I got cheese at one. Do, is there an issue with the cheese? No, no, I have a cheese, but I was specific with my cheese. I didn't know we could just do a blanket cheese. I think cheese is fine. Okay. okay. Yeah, because like even peppers, I mean, like, it, would I have to specify I, peppers? Uh, yeah, see, now I originally had specific pepper, and then I changed it to just pepper. Well, I think you're not talking about jalapenos, right? You're talking about like red red peppers. That's the problem. That's the problem. But I don't disagree. Or with are you it. talking about banana peppers? Well, I, I mean, I'm, I have I love banana peppers. And but I Bob, which to... peppers are you talking about, Bob? I would say bell peppers. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, but let's go, let's go, uh, let's go. I, we don't have to specify. Does... But they're not jalapenos or banana peppers. No, right? that's, but to that's me, at the same time, I don't, I know maybe they are the same thing. I ain't putting jalapenos and peppers as. as well, that's I know what I'm saying. Pep. Well, yeah. but technically, it is group group decision. Are we okay with the with the base, yeah. or do we want to specify? Yeah. No, I think it's fine. Okay. Um, that's what I got. If if I had to do cheese, I think I would do provolone at one, but cheese um there at one. And uh Mikey V, why don't you take it away? Five, I got coleslaw. I think coleslaw hits on, on sandwiches. I do. I think I, on on a club or on a Reuben or on you know a pastrami or you know, uh you know, a pulled pork, you put coleslaw on top of it, it's delicious. Number four, I got peppers. I think more along the lines of though, on a sandwich I want. Roasted red pepper, long hot pepper, cherry peppers. That's kind of like the direction I was going to go. But peppers at four. I got fried onions at three. I think I think a fried onion on a hot sandwich is delicious. Like some diced up fried oh. onions, caramelized onions, anything okay. with onions. So onions, two bacon, same same spot as Bob, two bacon. 
And then number one, I got cheese. So it's very similar. Now, originally I, I was going to say like my cheese, I would do fresh mozzarella. That would be like the cheese I would want. Yeah. My sandwiches would be fresh or wet mutts. Um, But it's pretty similar list, I would say. We, we I think we only missed on two, but that's Mike, my wouldn't, I, I, The grilled onions, like it wouldn't fried onions just be onion rings? No, no, like you could you could pan fry an onion. Oh, okay. Not, not like a deep fried onion. No, I mean onion rings on a sandwich though does is very good on a burger. You ever put an onion ring on a burger? It's pretty fucking good. I I think what I like that you did is the coleslaw play. I like a lot because I agree with that. I like coleslaw. On a yeah, yeah. I like that. Joey, do you any issues with that list? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Joseph. Joseph could take it away. Uh, and number five, I got tomatoes. I think tomatoes add a lot of just texture, flavor, and just kind of bring everything together in a sandwich. So give me tomatoes at five. Joe, Joe, do you like sun-dried tomatoes? I do like sun-dried tomatoes. I do. do. A lot of people don't. I like like them a lot. I think they're terrific. I I love them. I like, I'll I'll take, you you know, you know what's crazy? When I was younger, I used to hate tomatoes. Like I love tomato sauce, yes, but I hate tomatoes yes. in salad or yes. sandwiches. And yes. as I got older, I got to appreciate the tomato. I'll take cherry tomatoes. I would take like heirloom tomatoes. I'd do sun-dried tomatoes. I like all different types of tomatoes. I think that there are certain foods that are called rite of passage foods where yeah. when you're very little, you don't like them. And as you grow yeah. older, you like them. Broccoli, it's like, it's like acquiring- Broccoli yeah. Rob was an instance. I hated it as a kid. That's now a good I one. It. Or- Coffee. How about coffee, spinach? One hundred percent coffee. Yep. Spinach. Spinach. How about you know? How about drinking alcohol? Like 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 yes. straight whiskey. Yeah. Do alcohol. This, this could be a good top five. Maybe we should stop. Oh yeah. How Any would you classify five. that though? A condiment that's grown uh, on top me. Five, uh, top five rite of passage foods. I love that. <laughs> I love. That. We gotta save that. We gotta save it. We gotta save you know what, what's ah. grown on me too? Just condiment. If I could just throw Don't one do more. It. Don't do it. Ah. Don't do it. Save it. We need ammo. We'll save it. Save the ammo. Save that's the ammo. a good. That's a good top five. Mustard. That's oh, really. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's great. That's great. I know. All right. I'm out. I'm out. That's great. That's great. All right. Tomatoes at five. Number four. I, I, I'm either going to get a lot of love and support for this or not. But quite frankly, I don't give a shit either way. Give me the pickle at four. I no, love a good great. pickle. Pickles are pickle, great. Pickle. And you know what? It's not just pickle, but I, I'll, I'll deviate from what pickles my thing. But I like pickled anything, pickled peppers, pickled onions, pickled, you know, but pickles. Peter pickles, Piper picked a pickle pepper. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Look at you. Sure That's a mouthful there. Yeah, give me the pickle at four. I think it just brings everything together. It's really nice. I, have, I don't know. I don't think anybody will have an issue with that play at all. Some people, some people don't. Like, some people don't are like anti pickle, yeah. and then some people really? are huge on the pickle. I love pickles. Mm. God. Yeah, I like them too. Number three, I'm gonna go with turkey. I think turkey, as in terms of a whoa, 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 are you, you bacon? What's the difference between bacon and turkey? Joe, they literally market turkey sandwiches. Turkey sandwiches. They build everything off the turkey sandwich. It may be the most common sandwich of all time. They put the bacon onto the turkey. The bacon is the topping, not the turkey. Joe, is this a bit so or do you believe this? This has you're to be a bit. This has, has consider- to be a bit. a bit. You're considering the turkey is like a base? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah. Well, cheese is a base, too. Wait, what's it? I guess on a grilled cheese you can make that argument. But even that's what about a you? You just said like a, a, a what, what's the pepper the the like a Philly cheese sandwich? That's a base. Uh, the steak is the base. Well, the cheese you don't have. You ever had a Philly cheese sandwich without cheese, Mikey V? But the cheese. <laughs> Not me personally, but I'm sure people that are lactose intolerant don't eat cheese. Oh, on the- don't give me. Okay, I'll take turkey out. I'm not- it's a topping. It's, that's it's, one it's of, literally- Bob. That's one of the wilder responses that's of all time. Crazy. And he I mean, he's dead been- serious. He's dead serious. He's and dead you know serious. Why? That's why. That's why he's here, and that's why we love him. That's why we love him. I- yeah, that was wild. What do you got? Ham at two. <laughs> I mean, All right, give me give me tuna at number one. <laughs> Done yet? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Hey, having, listen, ha- the having a good time over there. Now, the Jiffy Loop shirt. Come on. I thought that was a great. I thought that was a great disc, but that's neither it here. It was nor a there. good disc, but now I, I gotta give me a little. No, loop. listen, I, I I'll take it with the best of them. Turkey's gone. All right, Turkey's Turkey gone. is gone. Thank God. Thank God for that. She's now got to fucking regroup here. Uh fuck. Uh number three then. All right. Number three, give me, give me avocado at three. Give me yeah. avocado at three. But yep. can actually can I, I can I, I say I something? I don't mind that. I don't mind that. You're okay with that, Bob? You guys I don't fine mind with that. that? I don't mind okay. that. Avocado at three. I think avocado is a nice add-on to a sandwich. And number two, I'm gonna go with cheese. All right. Yeah. Cheese for me at two. Yeah. And at number one, I'm going with bacon. I think bacon is the king of sandwich like like add-ons. It's crispy. It's delicious. It 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 can diversify any type of sandwich. Bacon at one for me. Fuck! I really didn't mean to like cause a conundrum with the turkey. I'm glad you did it. I think it's great for the program. That's why, that's why it's incredible. I, I think it's great. I'm happy you did it, Joe. I'm very happy. Yeah. Did to me, uh, to I me, any awesome. to me, a sandwich is like when you go to Subway, you just pick different things that you want in the sandwich. Like people have veggie sandwiches all the time. I can't believe you're saying this, man. I can't I, believe. I, I, I thought it was. I, I would just want you to know I'm not even making fun of you because I I truly love you. I love you. I do too. I love him too. I love him too. But that, that is crazy. one of the more insane things I've ever heard, Joe. I I just got to tell you, that's just insane. It's insane. I was like, as much as I wanted to laugh, I also was just shell shocked. I still am. Yeah. Still am. The Brilliant Up Show, ladies and gentlemen, changing lives, changing worlds. We're not done yet. We're not done yet, but we're changing lives. Um, My honorable mention, and I almost put it up to the five hole. I love it so much. I gave tomatoes the odd. I had avocado too. I think avocado is just, just terrific. Outside of that, I did like cucumbers too. I was going to say, I don't know many toppings that I would go outside of that. But yeah, I got avocado honorable mention. Joe? Joey D, what do you got? Um, I like banana peppers as my honorable mention. Okay. I think they're good. They're 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 different than the than the the, the roasted peppers, but they, they add a little bit of heat and a little bit of substance to the sandwich. I like them a lot. Yeah, and no, I'll I'll do uh, I'll do lettuce. Lettuce was was one that I was like I I do love like a crunchy piece of romaine on. on Sometimes like a, a lettuce falls so flat. It does. Like, it does. It does. You're not wrong about if, that. Yeah, I will say this: if you have a good leafy, fresh piece of lettuce, it's yeah. delicious. It but there's so the many times they'll put a piece of lettuce that's got brown spots in it. It's dull. Yeah, it's right. dying, and it's just it's so sad. Like if every sandwich could have a beautiful bushy piece of lettuce, I'd say it'd be in my top five. <laughs> no, everyone loves a big bushy lettuce, Joe. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. No, no, you're no. not. No, no, you're not. Everybody Dude, loves I, a good bush. I thought he was gonna do like meatballs as his honorable mention. <laughs> Give me roast beef as my honorable mention. <laughs> You know what's crazy is that I toggled between roast beef and turkey as as my three slots. I, I don't know what would have been better. I don't know. But you know that's why I said at the beginning I was like I hope we're not just doing all meats. I said that even before. You did, and but you guys I didn't really say anything. You only meant like bacon, Taylor ham, like prosciutto, maybe something that you know. Even prosciutto, I I would love to put. So when I said that, and no, I thought I prosciutto was false. Allowed allowed you him, guys, I, you guys I, set I, I me up said because. It was. Yeah. Set me up because I said it before. I and like, set you up. You could have been like, Joe, you're not doing meats because meats are the base. You didn't say anything. And then I go ahead and I give a meat and it's fucking, you know, Joe, all, all Rome Joe, is burning Joe, all of a sudden. Joe, respectfully, you got nobody but yourself to blame for that turkey take. You can't, you can't put that on us. That's one that you just got to hand up on this, me. You know what this is? This is a turkey travesty. That's what this is. <laughs> This guy is just really on one this afternoon. That's why his name is Cold Cuts. <laughs> it is. We love you, Joey D. And folks, yes, we love you. Mikey V, welcome to Breezy. That's Joey D down there. You got Mikey V top left shelf. We will see you next time.